Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while but then I have come up with a very long video you guys. Yes, so this is the series where we transform an existing space into our concept design. So this video is going to give you a lot of tips and tricks so make sure to watch it till the end. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So now I already have imported this image into our canvas. So the canvas size can be anything. So don't worry about the canvas size. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of it. And in a new layer, go to the drawing assist option, switch it on, edit drawing guide. Uh, and, and then just press on done and switch it off back. So now you will have your drawing assist option. Uh, available under your layer and then you can use any pen of your choice here I'm using a technical pen and I am drawing four lines at four corners of this um, toilet like that so right now we are fixing a frame and let's go back to our image layer and let us start to adjust it within this frame so I'm using the wrap tool and so here you can see that since we have our drawing assist option on and we drew the four lines so now we can set our frame of this uh, focal wall where our vanishing point is going to be so we have to make sure all the four corners of the walls are aligned to that of all the four corners of this uh, red line red box so using the wrap tool as you can see here it is very flexible so accordingly you can adjust it like this four corners of the room to four corners of the or um, four lines of this box So now you can see it's all aligned perfectly. So let's go back to the edit drawing guide and switch on our perspective guide now. And since this is a one point perspective, let's use one vanishing point. And here on the top, you can also choose your guide color. So I'm just going to place our vanishing point according to that of our already existing perspective. So I'm drawing all the four lines at the four corners of the room. You can see how perfectly it's aligned. And again, I'm going back to our uh, photo layer and I'm using the wrap tool to adjust it accordingly. And in a new layer, I'm going to demonstrate how perfectly now the perspective of our image sits when the window matches perfectly to that of our set guide And now I'm choosing a different color for the ledge. So here I'm designing like a back a cabinet, a small slot within the ledge wall so that 
it just doesn't become like a dead space instead it creates a character to our washroom sorry guys I'm zooming in and out so please don't feel dizzy I'm just figuring out all the parts so here I'm going to have the sink cabinet so rather than having just a single sink uh, attached out of nowhere I would just build this cabinet so that it adds to the luxury even though if it is a very small washroom so it all depends on your design you guys so you can take inspiration from Pinterest or you can try the same design as well so I might have a cabinet right here for all our storage and our WC would be in the same place since we don't have to work too much on the plumbing the sink in the same position as well and now the mirror so you can detail as much as you want any little detailing uh, that you want uh, from your reference images you can just draw it out so since you have your drawing assist option on it's going to be very easy for you to draw anything with respect to your perspective so here I have literally forgotten our bottom part so I'm just shortening the cabinet size so you can still see the window and I'm also moving the WC a little bit so I switched off our original image so now you can see only the guide and I'm using a fine tip pen and a fine tip pen and a black color and in a new layer make sure your drawing assist option is on and you can start to draw the actual sketch so I'm just tracing over the already existing guide so that's the reason why guides are very important for us so guides help you to work out combinations and permutations of your designs and at the end what works best for you you can go with it and we can literally trace over it and create our creations the window so the window I think I'm not going to change any design of it I'm just going to keep as it is and I'm choosing a circular top for the mirror, a towel hanger, a WC, a new one since the old design wouldn't suit our present concept. WC can be really tricky you guys I'm so bad at drawing WC's so yeah I've switched off our guide uh, layer and I'm erasing out all these extra intersecting lines make sure to keep your sketch as clean as possible as sharp as possible make sure you don't have double or triple lines to draw like one single item 
and also the sink I am giving these round edges so you can transform any objects according to your own thinking or your design it all depends on your concept so our sketch is now ready you guys also I would like to draw the ceiling lights a simple attached round ceiling light And I'm going to copy paste just copy and you can use the magnetic snapping option perfect so I'm going to again pinch these two layers together select the lights copy and you can increase the size according to that of our perspective there you go So guys let's start to render our picture so I'm just selecting the walls first using the freehand selection tool and I'm dropping this beige dark orange color I've also downloaded this style image from Pinterest so I'm just going to use this one image and create a duplicate of it like that but I would yeah instead I can move it above pinch the two layers together and using the distort option I'm going to adjust all the four corners to four corners of our sketch again I'm inserting this little tile texture that I downloaded from Pinterest again and I'm going to duplicate it and place it next to each other like that so after that you just pinch all the layers together adjust the size a little bit and duplicate this layer make sure your magnetic uh, snapping option is on pinch the two layers and duplicate there you go guys and just pinch the two layers together you can use the freeform move tool and adjust the height of your tiling reduce the opacity so you can see the things around it select the window part and erase it so there you go and now I'm going to select the countertop and color drop it with this beigeish grayish color in a new layer and again in a new layer I'm going to select the WC guys also make sure that each of your color filled objects are in different layers only then we can use the clipping mask option and add effects to them again ceiling in a different layer and color drop a darkish gray color so I have downloaded this wooden 
fluted slat like texture and you can increase or decrease the brightness increase or decrease the saturation or even change the color using the hue option but yeah i'll go with this placing it where i want and then reducing the size according to that of our sink cabinet duplicate you can use the magnetic uh, snapping option and place it like that so make it seem like as if all this texture is continuous and there is no break in between them keep repeating the same process until you fill the whole cabinet and you can select the portion that you don't want and you can just push it outside the canvas it's as simple as that and you can pinch all the layers together and duplicate it move it to the upper cabinet I'm just going to cut copy this little part and paste it right here since we don't have enough portion towards the right side and I'm erasing the rest pinch the layers together and use a free form move tool to increase the size like this as simple as that you guys and in a layer beneath this cabinet layer just select this portion long press on the color that you want and color drop it so the same thing i'm going to repeat for the sink as well guys even before even after all this fast forwarding the video came up to 41 minutes so yeah if you are not able to keep up with the speed please make sure to go to the settings and uh, adjust your speed your playback speed so that you will be able to draw along with me or uh, just write down the notes or practice along with me again in a new layer I'm going to color drop a slightly darker color so that it looks like uh, the wall here is the portion of this wall is uh, taken out see it makes a huge difference and now it's time to choose the mirror portion you can use the freehand selection tool to select the mirror area very carefully take your time I'm going to color drop a white color you can bring it down and you can see that the white part has disappeared from the sink Just use your clipping mask option here over our tile layer. Use a technical pen and you can make sure your drawing assist option is on and you can just highlight the tile lines or tile joints. And you can use a white color to create that groove effect. You whip up my 
Again here on the slat layer use a clipping mask option and you can use a flat brush pen. Decrease the size, long press on the color that you want and you can start to shade. So if you just leave it as it is, it would look very, uh, what do you say, a, mi a mixture of both sketch and a true image. So if you want the whole image to look sketchy, then you can add your own effects on it. But if you want to um, skip this process, then you can skip and directly go to the um, next part. So I'm going to repeat the same thing to the cabinets above as well. But before that, I'm going to detail out a little bit more using the technical pen. So here you can see the before and after you guys, like how drastically we have changed a realistic looking slat texture to that of a sketch. So yeah, I'm switching off and on the layer so you can see the drastic change. I'm going to literally repeat the same thing to these cabinets above as well. So this is how it looks after I've added all the effects. And I'm going to use a mono line brush. Probably reduce the size a little bit using a bright yellow color and I'm just drawing the handles. So just duplicate and place it and draw here again. You can use a darker color of the same. To create that metallic effect. Here I have my alpha lock lay, uh, on, on this layer. So if you had watched my previous videos, we had used alpha lock very frequently. So that is as similar to that of adding a clipping mask, but using alpha lock, it is like adding effects on the layer instead of creating a different layer, which can, um, create changes in that particular layer. And I'm giving the frame to this mirror, just a black frame using the same monoline pen. So on the white portion, I'm going to draw the reflection so we can see the reflection on the mirror so let's make sure to detail it out a little bit so i'm just drawing the door just color filling a rectangular selection and then i might also fill this particular area with a blue color so yeah just adding the context and making it look as uh, legit as possible just reduces the opacity a little bit and again in a new layer you can color fill a white color reduce the opacity and again in a new layer 
I'm going to use a flat brush pen to create the mirror effect. So if you watched my previous video, I had shown you what brushes that I use for what type of uh, objects or materials in my sketches. So make sure to watch that video before you watch this so it will be much easier for you to practice your sketch. So basically right now I'm detailing every element you guys. Here using the monoline pen I directly drew a tap in a new layer with your drawing assist option on so you don't have to use a different brush to draw the tap first and then color fill it with a different color so instead you can use a monoline pen and easily create a tap and again using the flat brush pen I'm using different tones of yellow to create depth to show the depth so yeah it's as simple as that you guys and I'm going to use a rectangular selection and erase this portion so that it looks sharp same thing here as well and you can use a technical pen to detail out the stand the base for the tab you can duplicate it and move it below this mirror layer and distort it a little bit so we will be able to see the reflection on the mirror and you can erase the rest and reduce the opacity and now let's detail out the window so again I'm using a monoline pen so when I'm using the monoline pen I make sure to draw it on the topmost layer so that it creates this embossed effect and it's not uh, disturbed by these sketch lines So yeah, I'm using different tones of grey to detail out the window right here. The frames. And I'm using a darker color, reducing the opacity. Like that. So that we can see the depth of these uh, window grooves. And you can use a rectangular selection to select these glass panes. And you can color drop it with a white or maybe a darker gray color and with a white color using a flat brush pen you can create these glass effect similar to that of what you did to the mirror and literally using just the technical pen you guys I am free hand drawing uh, some utility stuff toiletries sorry <laughs> so I'm drawing a shampoo maybe a lotion bottle so yeah just fill this shelf so every all of these elements or are in are within a single layer a soap box so as you can see again I am not using a technical pen to draw just the outlines but I'm just drawing the whole object with just one single technical pen and in the new layer use a clipping mask option 
and you can give your effects on this so the effects you can choose to use a flat brush pen to create this kind of a glass bottle effect so it's the same kind of effect i'll be repeating uh, on all these objects so when i drew the tap with just the monoline pen and all these objects with just the um, technical pen uh, you will understand that to draw a sketch you might not need sometimes you might not need to draw uh, an outline you can just do it this is art isn't it so don't stress much on how to make it perfect but then yeah even a freehand uh, drawn objects can look as beautiful it can add to the beauty of the sketch see i'm just adding these minute detail you can use the narinda pencil procreate pencil or you can just reduce the uh, size of the technical pen itself so yeah just make sure to use different types of brushes and uh, yeah just uh, experiment with it you guys you can also write on top of it and then i'm just going to use a technical pen and color these lights with a black color all this detailing is up to you uh, if you are more interested if you have more time then please give more time to detail out even the smallest of the objects in your sketch so yeah only then the more detailed your sketch is the more beautiful it looks so yeah guys please give some time to detailing out your sketch and i'm going to use this luminance light brush pen to fill in these gaps with a white color so yeah there you go again i used a light brush pen for the same but then after i drew it i just moved that layer below the mirror layer so it looked like as if the light is coming from behind the mirror and using the flat brush pen and a clipping mask over our tile layer so because of the light you will see some of the tiles being brighter so yeah make sure to show that detail as well and i'm also using this oil paint brush uh, i might use this hearts instead so much easier it is so i'm just using this here and there just make sure to reduce the opacity of the brush just here and there i'm highlighting so the texture of the tiles are highlighted right here see so detail it as much as possible use as many brushes as you want so yeah and i'm going to choose this tall i'm going to use a freehand selection tool and just select this tall invert and push it up the canvas you can reduce the size of the tile and place it over the tile hanger you can use the smudge tool reduce the size and you can slightly brush over so again it doesn't look like a real object from the internet and you can use the technical pen to detail it out a little bit 
outline it using this sketchy type of style. And the frills on the side. See, very easily we can transform a picture to look like a sketch. And again, you can use a clipping mask above the sink layer and give it some shades and shadows to give it some depth. Make it as sketchy as possible. And I'm also giving some thickness on top of the sink. Again, you can use a mono line or you can use a technical pen. And now it's time to give the shadows so you can use your drawing assist option and create shadows like that but then I would recommend to go to the tile layer instead each of those layers and give the shadows wherever possible so yeah just go to this clipping mask layer of the tile And you can use your uh, flat brush pen that's the best pen for creating shadows on the tile layer on the walls so yeah literally use the clipping mask option on all these layers one by one use a black or you can also use a gray or the object color or darker version of the object color and you can give the shadows accordingly again i'm using a light pen from the illuminance brush tool And you can use the smudge tool to make the light fall very subtly. Just duplicate this object's layer, convert it into this multiply effect. Go to the adjustments and reduce the brightness and slightly move it towards the left create the shadows you can also reduce the opacity and again go to adjustments and choose Gaussian blur effect and just increase it to 9% or 10 so there you go you guys your shadows for your objects are ready so you have to uh, repeat the same process for all the objects that you want to create shadows for. So beneath this slab there is going to be a little bit of shadows beneath this cabinet and 
and finally you guys in a new layer above all the other layers you can use Narendra pencil, Procreate pencil or even technical pen, fine tip pen with a white color I'm just going to give the outlines it need not be for each and every object so wherever you feel you want to give a slight outline like this so you can give that little crossover at the edges of each object so to make it as sketchy as possible So there you go guys that was it for today's video i hope you liked um this tutorial i hope you learned something new today and if you did please make sure to comment down below what you liked about this video and people who are watching this channel uh, or these videos without subscribing to my channel please make sure to subscribe you guys only then i will be able to produce good content and give you the best and uh, also make sure to follow me on my instagram page uh, where i post uh, short content videos and uh, please show me your support there as well so yeah guys i will see you in my next one until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress bye